Welcome to the last tutorial you'll ever watch about white background product lighting. For those of you who just want the project file and want to drop your product in, the link is in the description. You just owe me a like and a subscribe if you like content about making money with Blender. For the rest of you, the tutorial begins now. So your first step is obviously to go ahead and open Blender and uh, can anybody guess what we're going to do next? I'll give you a hint, it's delete the default cube. Now, if you guys have a model to import, this is the time to do it. I'm just gonna go download this model off of Blender Kit here. Before doing anything else, I like to vertical split my screen and create a camera. And before I forget, one secret tip to make your product renders look a lot better is to come down here to color management and change your look to medium high contrast. Change your render engine to cycles and GPU compute. The next step is now to open up your shader editor. I'm gonna open it on my second screen here. And then I wanna change where it says object to world so we can edit our background. You can start by duplicating your background and then you can add a light path and then you can add a mix shader here. Connect the nodes like so with the camera ray as your factor. Change your top background to appear black and your bottom background to appear white. Now if you want to add a little bit of realism to your environment, you can add an HDRI with an environment texture. Make sure to do this to your black background. Now since I have Blender Kit, I have a huge library of HDRIs that I can just drop in here. I'm going to search studio and find like a product studio. I've used this one in the past, this one's really good. If you don't have Blender Kit, feel free to just open an HDRI here like normal. Next step here is to come down to film and tick the transparent box. And here is the life-changing sauce that I discovered. Literally just Google a reference image of the lighting that you want to achieve for an object that's similar to the one you're working with. So for me, obviously, I'm just going to use a bottle of Jack Daniels since it's right here. But for instance, this white background product render, which I'm going to put on the screen right now, to light this one, I actually just Googled brown glass dropper bottle. And then I just scrolled until I found one that was lit nicely. Normally with these reference images, I just put them on my second monitor over here. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to add it as a reference image in Blender. Now you can see here that the color's a little bit off, and that's just because of the model I'm using. So don't be afraid to change the color of the model if it means that you're going to get better results. I'm finding that the contrast on this label is a little too intense, so I'm going to fix that by going into my shader editor and adding a hue saturation value node and bringing the value down just a little bit so it's not so intense. Now that I feel like we have a color that's pretty good, I'm going to go back into the 3D viewport over here and add my first light. That's going to be an area light. Now the first thing I notice on our reference image here is that there's a pretty intense little streak of light here going on, so we're going to add that. The other thing that's immediately obvious to me is that there's a really nice fill light going on on this left side. So I'm going to add another area light and leave it really big. So this fill light here is going to serve to illuminate the bottle as you can see here. But I'm also going to aim to have it kind of hit that side. So right now you can see our fill light is filling in this little neck right here I think it's called. Since we want to illuminate the rest of this bottle a little more, I'm going to duplicate our big fill light. And then I'm just going to lower the power of it until it kind of matches what we have in the picture. The next step is you can see we have a very subtle little light here, very small on the right side. So from a top down view you can see that this light right here on the left is giving us our fill. So I'm going to duplicate it and bring it over to the right side. And then I'm just going to lower the power until it's as subtle as it is in the reference picture. Now you can see that these two are looking very, very similar. To be honest with you, I think this is looking really good already. I'm going to go ahead and lower my samples and then I'm going to render this one out. So now that we have it, I'm just going to make sure we save it as a PNG in the RGBA color space. And you may be wondering why I rendered this as a transparent image. But I think quite honestly, it's because your clients are going to want to be able to just drop these kinds of renders onto other things. So you can see I have this little fake ad here, which has a very real message. And then if you just imagine this here in the context of like Amazon or any other kind of website, this render is going to be just fine for product imagery here. So I think for most purposes it's generally best to just render out transparent images. So that's just about all I have for you guys today. I think if you follow these steps, you quickly get professional quality lighting very easily. If you guys have been on my channel for pretty long, you would know that the majority of critiques that I give product renders is the lighting. And like I said earlier, basically the entire focus of this channel is to help you guys make money with Blender. So if that's something you're interested, please consider sticking around. And if this video helped you guys out at all, please just drop a like and I'll see you next time.